Welcome to the Light Touch 4.1.3 uh, brief overview of some of our new features relating to our wireless products. Uh, I'm popped into Lightware here and just wanted to show you briefly uh, how to configure our new products and, and some new features about the auto assign of uh, our wireless features. First thing I'm just going to come up here to help about just to take note of the, uh, the version is it is 4.1.3. Uh, it is getting released. Uh, as of today, which is May 3rd, uh, it will be available on your portals as well as the website. So go ahead and check that out. Um, I'm going to quickly jump over here to keypads and talk about our hybrid product line. Recently, we've taken our hybrid product line and broken it into two different models, uh, an inverse phase model and a standard model based on the load type. And I just wanted to go over how the software helps you create those and how it auto assigns the loads for you based on what load type you specify. So first thing I'm going to do is just click the Create New and bring up the keypad creation wizard. And I'm going to choose, as keypad style, I'm going to choose hybrid. Now I just want to mention as well, besides having the two different phase styles, so the forward phase or the standard, and the inverse phase or, or reverse phase module, um, we've also broken them down into two different models, a wired and wireless model, which some of you may be familiar with, as the hybrid, as well as just a wireless only model. And this is a model we designed uh, without the Cat5 connections in the back, as well as some of the components to reduce the price, to be more competitive on some of these jobs that, that uh, you're bidding. Um, also, there is a designer model and a traditional model. So the traditional, I'll just select that right here so you can see it update is a traditional or decor cutout. And the standard or designer uh, model is just uh, looks like a metro, metro design on that. So I'm going to pick uh, just wired wireless designer. And then I'm going to choose a two gang just to demonstrate my point with the wizard. I'm going to choose a one and three button two gang. And you can see it update here with the one and three button. This is my two gang. It's going to start at address one. I can configure the rest of the information, but I'm going to leave it the same and just hit OK. Now, here's where the hybrid wizard loads. And this is where you can specify all the information that will then know which module and which loads to assign to the modules. So as an example, I'm just going to give the keypad name of kitchen entry. That will be where this keypad is physically located. And you'll notice it says gang position one. That's going left to right. Uh, so left gang position, the one button. Um, actually has, let's say, a load type is just an incandescent. And let's say it's the kitchen pendants. And I'm going to give it a wattage of 300 watts. I know that's the wattage. Now, what's cool about this is based on the load type, your min and max is going to show up right here when, with an incandescent or any standard load uh, type, like MLV transformer, anything that's forwardly phase driven, um, will have a 40 watt minimum. Uh, now, you can also see our D rating chart. All of them are going to have a 700 watt max, kind of just as a single gang. But if you click this box, it gives you all of the different load types and what type of module, either a hybrid standard or a hybrid inverse phase, uh, what type of module it would spec. Also, minimum and maximum wattage is based on your gangs. All these columns are sortable, so you can sort by uh, standard or inverse phase, relay or dimmer, the minimum wattages. So you can quickly get a quick glance of uh, what's out there and what you need to do to, to make sure your D ratings and everything is, stays under in spec. OK, I'm just going to hit close there and jump back to the wizard. So this kitchen pendants was a 300 watt uh, load. I also want to create a load group for this. So I'm just going to click in here. And notice it automatically switches it for me. And that looks good. I've already specified my load type, the wattage, the name of the load and also the name of the load group that I want that load to go in, I'm going to hit OK. Also over here, RF and dimmer, I can set that based on uh, what mode I'm going to set this on on the actual hybrid with the dip switches. But right now I know it is RF, and this is a dimmable load. So I'm going to leave that as the default. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then it's going to pop up for gang position 2. So you'll notice now it says kitchen entry gang position 2. And let's say this is a some sort of electronic. Let's say it's an electronic low voltage inverse phase load, maybe a transformer. And I'm going to call these the kitchen spots. They're directly wired to the kitchen spotlights. And these are 150 watts. 
Okay. Notice when I change it to a different load type, the min and the max adjusted based on the number, the number of gangs as well as the load type. And I can still look at that derating chart if I want to. It's, it's available there for you to click on. I also want to create a load group, kitchen spots, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And the new auto assign feature is automatically going to spec out the right type of fixtures. So you can notice that here's my incandescent fixture, and here's an ELV inverse phase fixture. And it determines the type of hybrid. So if it's a standard or an inverse phase, it also created the loads automatically. Kitchen pendants, kitchen spots, all of my fixture information and wattages came over correctly. As well as, if I go into the enclosure tab, you can see the back sides of the hybrids here. And it also notes what type of hybrid it is, whether it's a standard or an inverse phase hybrid based on that load type. And if I were to double click on one of these loads, it's also going to give me uh, the load that I saw in the loads tab, as well as all of the information assigned to that. So it did that all automatically just by designing the keypad and going through that wizard and specifying which load types, which wattages to do that. So this new wireless auto assign is very, very easy. And it uh, gives you the ability to select different load types, put different load types on hybrids, and uh, just uh, saves you time for that. So thanks for listening.